what we're doing today is the apivar treatment i got it here i got some medical medicinal gloves i got my anti-b gloves here but apparently what you want to do here so that's it's got i've got four strips two per brood box And they've got this, there's a couple different ways you can use it. From what I understand, you can let it hang. It's got these tabs. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with the, uh, man, I meant to get these out of my pocket. I'm going to use toothpicks. I'm going to litter for a minute, but I'll pick that up. I may not litter, it may not come off my fingers. But so all you do is you stick a toothpick through that hole there. And then from what I've read, it says stick it in the busiest sections of the hive. So there's one. I'll go ahead and I'll get the other toothpick out in a second. I'm gonna go right down here if I can. Go right down there with that one. Hello, Miss B. So that's there. That spot right there looks kind of busy. Beasy. Come on, bees, let it through. I'll put that one there. And then I guess for me as a beginner, I'm trying to decide what's next, really. I stole a little honey. I'm not gonna get much honey off of them this year, but I kind of took some just for a taste there. Probably shouldn't use this glove. Maybe I'll throw it away now, but something's going on right there. So since this, they've kind of made this a honey super. I don't have any eggs in this super here. And I'm trying to decide if I should hang those two in this mm -hmm. box. And I think I'm going to. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't like the way they're all ganged up on the bottom there though. I don't, that's not gonna be good for putting them back in. I don't wanna squish any. All right, so let's do this. I'm a little timid. I don't like getting stung lately. Come on, girls. I know I'm going to kill some. God, this is the worst part. I don't know how you professionals do this all the time. Come on. Well, that wasn't as crunchy as it could have been, I guess. It was somewhat crunchy, though. All right, so that's on. So now the question is, do I drop the ape of our NIS? And the way that the uh, instructions read is one per brood. You can't reuse this stuff. Tell you what, we're just gonna go with it. That's what I'm gonna do. And if it's, if I've done a bad thing, I'm gonna ask a guy that has kind of turned into my mentor. 
I'll ask him if I've messed up. How long are those? Ah, I see what's going on there. I'll say, hey man, did I mess up doing that? And if he says yes, I'll fix it. Did I not bring enough toothpicks? You gotta be kidding me. Only brought three toothpicks, what kind of Alabama math is that? Let's go get another toothpick. All right. So through the magic of editing, not really, sorta. I got another toothpick, I'm gonna lay this one down here. I'll come pick that up. I'm gonna stick this one, maybe right in here somewhere. Trying to get it, there we go. To fall down. All right. So that's that. Now, I'll walk these over here and show y'all this. These are, I've been using the Swiffers for hive beetle entrapment. Seems to be working. Is that uh yeah, it's focused. Look at that. Does it auto focus? Man, yeah, my focus is on point today. Sometimes it's not. There is a bee. Are you stuck? She's dead. So I did catch one bee. Which I mean I guess is a small price to pay, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn these and I'm going to throw a new a couple Swiffers in there. And I'm sure everybody's got their own way of using the Swiffers. I'll tell you what, before we get the Swiffers, let's do this. I'm going to take these gloves off since they got that Amatraz on them. We're going to do something different. I'm going to go put these anti-stingy bee, anti-sting gloves. I'm going to cut this Swiffer and tear it, make it into two, I think. Hey, Miss B, please don't sting me. They're still a little irritable. This one's irritable. Let's put on some gloves. Hope I didn't just get her in my, no. She's on my hand though, go away. So that sting I got the last week or so kind of made, made me a little gun shy. Cause I'm sick of getting stung. But I think the issues that I, come on. Driving me nuts, making me jumpy. I want to get this up. Don't sting. She stung. Man. I thought she stung. Come on, girl. We can be friends. I'm out here doing a good thing for you, actually. Now, you don't want to sting. Go away. Just go away. Super simple. She's mad. At least it's just one and not 30. I'm futzing with these gloves. I'm gonna get her up in my glove in a second. So what I'm trying to do is just get that cuff of that glove, which is not really happening. It'll just make me feel a little better. All right, there we go, whatever. So, I don't know the best way to place these Swiffers. I've read some people, you know, everybody in beekeeping has their way. And if you don't do it their way, 
you are messing up. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in there like that. Calm down. Sheesh. You come out here, I'm just trying to help. And they're all angry. Just trying to help. There we go. I wonder if I smoke myself if they'll leave. Will you leave? All right, so there's that. I'm gonna put the top cover back on. So putting that super back on, I got a story and a half here. What I really, I should have, I kind of messed up there, but it is what it is. But putting that super back on, I think was the most tense moment I've had as a amateur beekeeper. Like, I don't like killing the bees, you know? And I'm sure I crunched, I know I crunched a few. I'm gonna set you right there. That's that little mouthful of honey I got. And there's some semi-wax. I don't know what I'll do with that, but I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna put this back on. I got some shims. You probably saw me put those shims on there. Those are some shims my dad made me. Poor bee. I hate killing the bees. And that's that. So the apivar is in. I don't know. I think I keep it in there for six weeks, eight weeks. Something like that. Clean up my mess. And there it is. So that's my first time treating a beehive. I do have a couple questions I need to find out if that extra there in the top of that super was a bad idea. Go away, girls. Smoke me, smoke me. This smoker, man, this is my dad's. It's mine now. He gave it to me. But when I was a kid, this thing has a lot of yard miles. I used to take it when I was a train, man. Chugger, 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 chugger. I used to... I used to do a lot of training. It's got a, I've seen some miles in the yard. But when I got into bees, my dad gave me this and he kept his dad's. My grandfather kept bees. My dad kept bees. I probably should get a new one. Put this on the shelf and just use it. Just remember the good times. I don't want to ruin it. But there we go. Beekeeping. I only got stung once. So, I mean... I guess that's not terrible, right? And it was in the leg and I got the stinger out fast, so maybe I won't swell up too bad. Wish these girls would leave. I'm afraid one's gonna fly out my pants. Go away, B. All right then, if you stuck it out this far, thanks for watching.